Hey guys, Nitno here. Are you looking for flash drives? Well, I've got you covered. We'll be going over common spawn points and optimal farming routes on customs, woods, reserve, interchange, and shoreline. That way you have options. First off, you should know that in the hideout with intelligence level 2, you can make flash drives. The materials needed are one broken G phone, one broken G phone X, and one SSD drive. Please keep in mind that this could change in a future patch. Make sure to double check the materials. We're going to start off on customs. I will put these maps in the description. That way you can check back on them anytime you like. All right, we are over on customs. We're over by blue van. This is one of the more common places to find flash drives. I highly recommend checking this out. It seems to have a higher chance for flash drives. You know, RNG, it's all luck based, but it seems to be a good place to get it. Next up, we're going to check out one of the new buildings. Now, any PC in the game, you're going to be able to find flash drives on them. It is a small chance, but it is a chance to spawn. So we're going to check out a whole bunch of PCs in this run. Go upstairs here and in this room, you're going to find two PCs and also make sure to check the floor. There is some pretty nice tech loot that can spawn there. And while we're here, check out this tech loot here and then drop down. And there's going to be a technical supply crate. You can have some pretty good tech loot in there as well. We're going to head over to another new room in customs. We're going to be heading into this building here. Once you're inside, we're not going to go upstairs. There is some good loot up there as well. For instance, there is a roller spawn and just some nice kind of treasure loot in there. But just for the sake of this run, we're going to head through this door and we're going to head upstairs in this room right here. Once you're inside, quickly take a left and then on the floor, there's going to be some nice tech loot and it's going to be two PCs. Each one has a chance for that flash drive. There is also a chance for a GPU in that room and also a Tetris. Definitely check out that room. Even if you're not going for flash drives, it's good to loot that room. Now we're going to speed things up and we're going to head all the way over towards two story dorms. Before you get there though, there's going to be a campsite and there's going to be a chance for at least two more spawns that can have that flash drive. Make sure to be careful here. There could be this guy boss right there. There's a couple ways you can go. Just go the safest way that you think. Now that we're over in the direction of the two story dorms, here we go. There's the campsite over near this log. That will be the chance for the first spawn. Then we're going to make our way over towards the guitar about right there. That's where we have another chance for that flash drive. Definitely check this area out. Even if it's later in the raid, a lot of people don't check there. So someone else that's just going for the march room or something could easily skip that. So we're going to go over to the two story dorms. You're going to need at least the 110 key here. The 114 key is optional, but it is an extra PC they can loot. And there's some nice other loot in there as well. So here is the 110 key. Pop that open. This is commonly looted, so don't be surprised if it's open already. On this bed though, that's where we have a chance for another flash drive. While you're here, definitely open that. And then we're going to pop open 114 as well. And there's another PC we can check and another safe. Some nice loot in there. Check this med case too. You can find some pretty good stuff in there sometimes. All right, we're going to head on over to the three story dorms. There's going to be two more rooms to check out here. The first one is a locked room and that's going to be the 108 key. And then the second one's going to be an unlocked room and that's room 206. So bang it right here immediately. Then at the end of this hallway, take a left in this door right here. We're going to be opening up and checking out once inside. Towards the end, you're going to be finding another PC right there. Check the front panel for that flash drive. Now we're going to head out and we're going to head on over to the second floor. Keep in mind the scav boss can be here as well. Also players go through here a lot, so it is a pretty dangerous area. Hop in this room. There's one more PC to check. All right, so we are done with this area. The next one is all the way over at customs and it's going to be the customs key. We're going to speed things up here quite a lot. While you're running through here, there is a UN truck that does have a chance for the orb three key. Go ahead and check in this seat right here. Doesn't go for a whole lot. 
Late in the patch, it's about 50k. It is a little more expensive early on in the wipe. It's worth checking. Now we are almost over at customs. And we are going to head inside, head upstairs, and we're going to be checking out the first room on the right hand side. Pop this door open with the customs key. Bang your first right. And then they got a couple PCs here. I personally found a flash drive right there. And I found one here before as well. All right. There is one more room. It's just worth checking. There's no flash drives in here. But you got a safe there as well. Might as well loot it while you're here. That's going to wrap up custom skies. Now we're going to move on over to woods. Woods is going to be really simple. It's only one spot. But it does seem like a pretty consistent place to find these flash drives. It's not guaranteed, but it does seem like every patch people find them here all the time. Alright, we're over on Woods on the half of the map that has the outskirts. And there is the locking camp. It's going to be this tent right here. Right on top of these clothes, that's where you can find a flash drive spawn. Definitely worth checking. Unfortunately, if you don't spawn in this area, it is pretty common for people to check this and loot this already. All right, we are over on reserve. We're going to be focusing on the Black Bishop building. This seems to be the highest densely populated area of PCs on the map. With the blue circle, I did mark one more PC spawn that I personally have found a flash drive on. All right, we're over at the Black Bishop. That's right next to the nose of the helicopter right there. We're going to be going in this door and immediately on the right hand side. That's going to be our first PC. We're going to move to the end of the hallway and we're going to head on the left hand side here. And there is another PC. Head up to the second floor. And then in this room, PC. This room here, another PC. Now we're going to head on upstairs to the third floor. And here is one more PC. You have to go around the back and then check that front panel. Now we're going to head all the way down this hallway. And at this room here, we're going to be jumping through the window onto the roof. And then make sure to check out this room. And there's two PCs right here. There's certainly some nice tech loot here. There can be Tetris. There can be graphics cards. So make sure to check that room. It is highly contested. Could be already looted. There could be people in there. Keep that in mind. Now I'm going to show you one more area that's over near the sewer extract. I really like this area just because I personally have found flash drives here before. I can't say for certain if there is an increased chance to find one here, but I have gotten lucky here before. And it's over near the sewer extract, which you are probably going to want to take if you're just looking for flash drives anyway. All right, here we are. Head inside this room here. And there is another PC. There are other PCs on this map, just not really densely populated together. Feel free to loot all the ones you know, but I would focus on that Black Bishop personally. And then feel free to extract right here. Just take your backpack off if you have one. Next up, we're going to check out Interchange. This is a pretty commonly recommended one. There's just a ton of PCs to check. So the more PCs you check, the higher chance you have. I've definitely found flash drives here. It can be a pretty dangerous map to run and also take quite a bit of time. So keep that in mind. All right, we are going to start things off over at Ollie. There are two keys I'm going to recommend. They're not required at all. They're only going to add two extra PCs. So that's going to be the Ollie administration key and also the Ollie logistics key. Once again, you don't need these at all, but it's going to give you two extra PCs to check. Throughout this video, I'll be speeding it up quite a bit. This is just a large map and there's a lot of area to cover. We're going to be going in this back room here. This is the first key we're going to use. Pop up in this door. And then it's going to be a PC right there. And there we go. Check it out. Now we're going to move on to the next locked room right down this hallway. We're going to be going in this door on the right hand side. Once again, pop it open. And we're going to be checking this PC here. Now we're going to backtrack a little bit the way we came. Head into Ollie. And in this kiosk here, there's going to be a couple more PCs. Right there and right here. Now we're going to move on. There's going to be another cubicle, kiosk, whatever you want to call it. 
right here and there'll be a couple more PCs to check as well. Now we're going to head on over to the other side of Ollie. It's going to be some back rooms that we're going to check. And we do have a couple more rooms and they're all going to have PCs in them. This is a nice densely populated area. Head inside and then once you're in here, check all the desks and you'll notice right away which ones have PCs. Check those PCs, check the front panel, see if there's any flash drives. Within this cluster of rooms, there's going to be three of them. Check all of the PCs. You might want to just go through it for yourself and try to memorize them each time you go through. I have definitely found flash drives in here. Just that random chance for each PC to have one. Here's the final room we're going to check. After done in here, we're actually going to head back to Ollie and we're going to wrap around. All right, now that we're back in Ollie, headed on the right hand side here. I'm going to wrap around over near those escalators and there's going to be another set of rooms here. There are quite a lot of PCs in here to check, so make sure to take your time and loot this whole room thoroughly. One thing to note, this is the alarm room to turn off the Kiba alarm. Sometimes heavily geared squads or just people go through here just to turn off that alarm. Keep that in mind. Now we're heading towards the Goshen store. After you go through these doors here, you actually can loot on the left here if you'd like. It's going to be a weapon case down there. And also in these lockers here, you can find things like gold chains and other rare items. It's actually worth taking your time and checking all of these real quick. A little bit of extra income there. We're going to head straight across Goshen. And we're going to head to another back room, one of those corner offices. And it's going to be a whole bunch of PCs to check there as well. So let's head inside. Now once inside, you got some PCs here, and there's a flash drive right there. That's what it's going to look like, sticking out of the box there. Go ahead and take that flash drive, put it in your secure container, and you might want to just go ahead and extract right there, stop whatever you're doing, and just get out. After you're done here, we're going to continue on to Idea, and it's going to be one more back room that we're going to check out, and we're going to have some more PCs to loot. We're going to go ahead and head inside this room right here. You got two PCs there. And you have all these cubicles on the right hand side as well. Make sure to check each one. Check out the PCs. See if there's any flash drives. And then we're going to move on to our final destination. And that is going to be the power station. The power station is a very common place for players to check. As there is that power switch that players are always flipping to turn on the power. It's very common that it's already looted at this point. Keep that in mind. If you spawn near the power station, you probably want to check that first. So we're going to head in this door here. We're going to head towards the back room. This is where you're going to find a whole bunch of tech loot. You're going to find some PCs to check. I've personally found flash drives on the PCs in here. This one all the way at the end. Definitely check these out. That's going to wrap up all of the flash drive spawns. I'll just show you quickly that there is the hole in the fence extract. I would definitely recommend taking this. It seems to be the safest extract. There's a lot of extract campers on this map. So go ahead and take this one. It's what I would recommend. You just can't use a backpack for this. And with that, we're gonna move on to the next map, which is Shoreline. We're gonna wrap things up over on Shoreline. Now this run does have a cost to it. You're gonna need some expensive keys to do the whole run. I'll list those for you. Most of the run is going to take place on the east side of the spa in the admin building. I marked those with the yellow arrows. The blue arrows are basically additional extra spots that you can check if you feel like it. We are going to start things off over at the admin side, which is at the back of the resort. Head inside this door. And then we're going to be heading towards the back of this auditorium. And before we head upstairs, make sure to check this door here. There's going to be a PC you can check. After that, we're actually going to head downstairs real quick just because there is a Ledex spawn and they do have some other high value medical items there like that Grizzly kit. Now we're going to head upstairs, immediately take a left and then go through this door. There's your first PC. And then we're going to have four PCs in here. There's one, there's two, three, and four. Then head through this door here. We're going to check out these back rooms as well. Another PC. And then there'll be one in here also. 
and one here as well. I wanted to quickly mention that red circle there, the red key card can actually spawn right there, so make sure to check that as well. After you're done looting this computer and these shelves, you're going to be falling through this hole, and we're going to be heading towards the east wing. Bang a quick left here, and we're going to be heading upstairs, and we're going to be going all the way to the third floor. Once on the third floor, take a quick right, and we'll be heading in our first locked room. That's the 306 key. Open that up. And there is quite a few computers in here, each one with that chance for that flash drive. Loot everything in here, and then we're going to head on to our next room. We are going to go all the way to the other side of the east wing here, down the hallway. And we're going to be going to either the store room, which is that room right there, or the 328 room. Each one of those require either the store room key or the 328 key. Hop in here, there is a chance for a GPU spawn, loot the whole room, some nice weapon parts, and there can be treasure here as well. Now head directly downstairs, and we have one more spawn right there for that computer. Basically that is going to wrap up what I would call the compact version, which is all the stuff I would hit if I'm going for a quick run. If you want to do an extended version, I do have some more spots that I'll show you real quick, but it's going to require an expensive key, and that's the West Wing 301 key. This is a Latex spawn so it's usually hit pretty quickly. If no one has hit it yet though, go ahead and check it out. You got a chance for that LEDX. You got a chance for another flash drive spawn on those PCs. Here we go, 301. Make sure you got that key there. Can be pretty expensive. Check out the whole room for that LEDX. And we're gonna be going to this table here. Got a computer there. And you got a computer here. There can be some good stuff on that table. Check out the whole room. Make sure you don't miss any lead X. Two more spots we're going to hit. We are going to drop down here. And we're going to head towards the first floor. Once we're on the first floor, wrap around here. And you're going to open up this door. It's going to be a PC inside. Loot that. Now you're going to head down this hallway. All the way to the end of the hallway. On the left hand side. We're going to go in this door right here. Now when you're inside, you're actually going to go to the back of the room here, and that's where you're going to find your final computer here. This isn't every single computer in the whole resort, but these are the ones I'd recommend hitting. Just to be thorough, a couple more places. Radar tower, there is one PC, it's going to be a safe, and there's going to be some nice electronics they can find on the ground as well. Check out this whole room, it's pretty good. Heading over to the pier, we got two more computers to check out. Head to the back here, head upstairs. It's going to be a nice safe you can loot. You got this PC here. Then we're going to head across. And you're going to have another safe here. And you have another PC to loot as well. And we are going to wrap things up over at the cottages on Shoreline. Head inside this door. And then we're going to head upstairs. And there is a safe that you can loot. But we're going to head right towards that PC. Check that PC. And here's that safe as well. And I almost forgot, there is one more safe here. Check this closed door here. And then and this blue locker on the top. That's a safe. Can have some nice treasure. Have some currency. Head out the back door. You can actually find a key right there. Make sure to check it. We're going to head over to our final stop. There can be another key right here on the blue barrels. That's going to be the college back door key. That's actually going to be the key you need to open this door right here. Cottage back door key. There we go. Once you're inside, once again, we're heading back upstairs. Very similar to the last building we were in. You're going to find a safe here. And you're going to find that PC. Here we go. Head inside. There's that safe. And here is a PC. That is going to wrap up all of the spots I want to show you guys. Hopefully this video can be helpful to you guys, give you guys some ideas on where to check for those flash drives. It can be a pretty frustrating quest. Hopefully this gives you some hope. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hitting that like button really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it guys. As always, have fun in Tarkov. Take it easy. Peace.